How is it? So good. <laughs> I can smell my mouth is watering. Hey everyone, welcome back. You got a genuine review from my food taster. He says it's really good. That means yes, it is a good review for you guys. The bread is super soft. and i'm going to share with you the recipe today how to make it so with the same batter i made it in muffin bitelet pan also here you can see how it looks now let's see the ingredient used here to make this three ingredient mango bread so i'm putting 2 cups of self rising flour one cup of mango puree You can substitute with any fruits here, even sweet potato. I have put here or pumpkin puree. Anything you can add here. This is the brand that I'm using, Deep Mango Puree. It's an Indian brand and very flavorful, and it's very sweet also. So here I'm adding 1.5 cups of milk. This is the three ingredients that is used to make this bread. You can add any fruit here. You can add blueberry, strawberry, apple, banana, anything. And remember, there is no egg, no oil, no butter. Also, no kneading, no sifting, no whisking. Nothing is required to make this easiest bread recipe ever. So here, I just mixed all the ingredients together. Put it in the bread loaf pan. This is a tiny bread loaf pan that I have for my six quart air fryer. basket type pasta air fryer and this easily fits into it here you can see set the air fryer at 350 degree fahrenheit for 15 minutes that's it let the bread cool inside the air fryer once it turns off same batter i put it in the muffin bitelet pan and i got one bread here one whole bread loaf like you can see here and few muffins also or you can make two breads with this quantity bread batter look at the gorgeous brown bread the perfect mango bread ever we can make in our air fryer and the magical thing is it's just three ingredient and instant bread recipe we can make so here you can see how good it looks super soft fluffy bread the bread is still hot when i'm cutting it and look how beautiful it looks sweet mango bread the look at this corners of the bread it looks so good nice soft spongy kind of texture it has can you imagine there's no egg in it and still so good it's not even hard the bread is not even hard look at it how good the bread is the slice of bread is and here you can see Perfect mango bread is ready. Now I'll show you the muffin one. Let's see. This is how it has a nice brown texture on top. Although if we decorate it to have a nice muffin kind of texture, we can cut the top part and decorate with some, you know, buttercream or icing icing to it. Still the muffins are super soft and fluffy. There is no uh You know, there's no loss of texture in it. It is so soft, super fluffy muffins ever. This is how it looks. You can put the batter in bundan pan or muffin bitelets, like I did, or loaf pan. Same texture for each pans. It will be soft and spongy. And something for you. <laughs> So this, this is mango bread. It's so good. It has the flavor of bread and mango together. Yeah, and, and there is no like, sugar. I no sugar, and it's so flavorful. So much flavor, double bread and mango. And then also the honey adds emphasizes the taste. Is it soft? Can you show how it looks? It's so soft and fluffy. Yeah, look how fluffy it is. Oh yeah. Up. Will my viewers like it? Definitely. It really? So good. So good. No oil, no egg. What? <laughs> yeah, no butter. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> no sugar. No sugar. What else is not there? Flour. Huh? No flour. Flour. Flour is there. Self-rising flour. I add to it. What kind? Is that baking soda? 
No baking soda, no baking pink powder. <laughs> No what? baking powder. I want some more. I'll take some school. I'll save some for school tomorrow too, okay? Oh, you want for lunch tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you loved it. <laughs>